Good morning, friends. It's always a pleasure to be here with you. Today, I would like to talk about the spirit of fear. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you today and we ask you, Father, to take away the spirit of fear that we all have within us. It's something that is not good and we don't need to carry it around. So let us give it to you today. And we thank you for taking it from us. In the name of Jesus, amen. Our scripture for today comes from 2 Timothy 1.7. For God did not give us the spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. What would you think if I told you that you could live without fear? Would you believe me if I told you that despite what you saw on the news last night, that you could be perfectly at peace? Impossible? Unrealistic? No. You see, fear isn't just a reaction to external circumstances. It's a spiritual force. It begins inside of you and it is totally destructive. In fact, fear is Satan's primary weapon. He moves in response to fear the way God moves in response to faith. He challenges the promises of God with it. An excellent example of this is found in Matthew 14 when Jesus invited Peter to come to him on the water. But when Peter saw the strong wind, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me, in verse 30. What enabled Peter to walk on the water? It was his faith in the word of Jesus. What caused Peter to sink? He saw the wind and he was afraid. It wasn't the wind that defeated him. It was his fear of it. He looked at his circumstances, gave into fear, and the results were defeat. If Peter had kept his faith on Jesus, his faith would never have wavered. Faith is developed by meditating on God's word. Fear is developed by meditating on Satan's lies. Such fear, such fearful meditation is called worrying. Don't do it. The word of God is the sword of the spirit. Use it to fight Satan every time he comes against you. Hold up your shield of faith and quench all the fiery darts. Speak words of faith and fear will depart. Friends, fear always tries to creep in. When I started chemo, I had a big fear of it, but I gave it to God and I trusted him and he carried me through it. And now I am facing a big surgery and I am giving that to God too. And I trust him completely that he will carry me through that also. I want to share with you that I just got news from my, my oncologist that my PET scan showed that my um, cancer is in remission. So I want to thank you all for the prayers that you said. They carried me through. I know God heard them and my body is in remission right now. I still have a long ways to go, but I trust God to carry me through it. Thank you for joining me today for Coffee with Cindy. I pray that you have a blessed week and I look forward to seeing you all again next week. God bless you.